Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Crypto.com, Crowcoin, take a look at the Kronos ecosystem, and kind of give you my opinion on where I think we're headed here in the overall crypto market. Because yesterday, we did have quite a sell-off. People are panicking, and we're going to talk about that. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel right now. Let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, the market is getting a little bit of a bounce. A little bit of a bounce. Trading a little bit underneath sixty-two thousand dollars, we did break above sixty-two thousand, which this is more than a, more than two point six. I think we got up to about three point three percent gain today, something around that level. But um, you know, we came all the way down to fifty-nine thousand. We got into the fifty-nine thousands on Bitcoin. And it really hurt the overall market. It really brought Crowcoin down significantly. When we measure, I think let's see, let's look at the daily to get a little bit of a better picture here. I mean, we did come down a decent amount yesterday. If we were to measure this out, I think it was about a 6 7% loss. Oh, about 12% loss. But we did get a, a little bit of a bounce today. I do think that the daily will definitely be closing green. When we look at the, the one hourly, kind of get a better picture of where we're at here. I mean, we came all the way down to... And we were so close to my target. On some exchanges, we did hit my target at about 0 0.0830 cents on Crowcoin. It was very, very intense. But when you see big impulse waves to the downside like that, you usually see a bounce. The question is, will it be a V-shaped recovery? Or is this somewhat of a dead cat bounce in a longer move to the downside? In my opinion, I think altcoins probably will be hurting for a little bit longer here. Especially what I'm seeing over on Bitcoin. But that being said, I'm still a Crowcoin bull. I think that Crowcoin is bullish in the long term. And speaking of that, over on Twitter, you can follow me at 333BlackC. I am doing a Crypto.com Crowcoin giveaway. And I said I want to give back to the Crow fam during the sell-off. If this post can get 100 retweets in the next 48 hours, I'll give away $100 of the Crowcoin. Follow me at 333BlackC and retweet this tweet. Now, I've already broken the 100 retweets, so you can still have another 24 hours to get in there. So... Go retweet it, go follow me, and uh, maybe you'll win the $100 of the crow coin. Because, you know, it's nice to give back when the market is hurting, when everyone thinks that it's all over. And the people that stick around, they, they deserve to reap the rewards. So I want to give back to you guys. And uh, I do want to take a look at where I think we could be headed here throughout Bitcoin. Because, first off, I know, crow coin doesn't look that good. We're getting a nice bounce. It's pumping very, very nice. Off the bottom, we measure, I think we probably had about 12% move. Yeah. A 10.61% move, a nice move to the upside. Coming back down, you know, when you see these big impulse moves, you usually need to see some retracing for the volatility to kind of cool off. But uh, yes, I know there's been basically no volatility in the crypto market other than to the downside while Bitcoin has been chopping to the side. But we're going to take a look at that. I want to take a look at the monthly returns for Bitcoin. So July. July is right around the corner, guys. And in the past, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Julys, 4 out of those 11 have been bearish. 4. Only 4. And in my opinion, I, I do think that we could see a bullish July. Sure, maybe we'll see the 5th July be bearish. Sure, we could see that. But in my opinion, if we are basing just on odds, the odds sake and the probability we probably see a bounce in July, in my opinion. That being said, I also want to say, if we do see a bearish July, then probably expecting a larger move leading into the fall. And when we really look at Bitcoin, where we're at right now, you know, we broke below this orange trend line, which was basically like the, the bull trend. But I do need to say that the bull trend has not been broken not just yet. Look at this. We're we're flirting. We're flirting with it. This yellow line right here, guys. Technically, technically right now, we are very, very close to a higher low. I know that sounds ridiculous when you're looking at how close this is. And when you talk when you're talking wicks, we are going to have a higher low here. When we're talking about a weekly, as long as we close above that $62,000, in my opinion, it's a higher low. And the trend is your friend. It's as simple as that. When you be paying attention to that, and in my opinion, I think that probably sets us up for 
I move to the upside. Now that being said, that being said, July is a very interesting month. Potentially the Ethereum spot ETF gets launched. If that happens, I think we start to see some liquidity move into Ethereum and start to see some of these altcoins get a bit of recovery. I think a lot of these altcoins are oversold. And I'll say even Crowcoin, and I'll include it inside that altcoin category where it's oversold. You know, you zoom out. I mean, man, look at that. It's, pr it's pretty, it looks rough. It's rough. It, let's just say it how it is. The, the chart is rough. But as long as we don't come below the 0 0.0719 cent, we're putting in a higher low, guys. We're putting in a higher low. That's The trend is your friend. It's bullish. It's still a bullish trend. And I think that there's a good chance that Bitcoin trades sideways for an extended period of time. And, you know, I am saying that I do think that July could be bullish, but it could be bearish, guys. The odds and the probability are in the bull's favors. It's in the, in the, it's in the bull's favor. It's, it's a four out of 11 Julys are bearish. So seven out of the 11 are bullish. I like those odds. I like those odds. But I will also say trading sideways is not is not the end of the world, guys. It's not the end of the world. We'll probably be setting up for a much, much larger move to the upside. The longer we trade sideways, the more pain there is. The more people are saying, oh, the top is in. It's over. The higher we're going to go, in my opinion. We have to be paying attention to that, guys. And, uh, you know, a lot of these meme coins as well. I think, I think a lot of these meme coins are going to see a bounce. You know, even with this little tiny bounce we saw today, when you look at the four hourly, I mean, it's looks like nothing but uh this little bounce right here pepe up 18 percent on the day <sighs> these meme coins the liquidity is just going back to them it's pretty crazy and i do want to say guys we have partnered with an exchange called blowfin where that we have a five thousand dollar bone up to five thousand dollar welcome bonus all you gotta do is go in the description box below here click the link and sign up you get up to five thousand dollars there's lots of different things you can do. If you deposit $100 into the copy trading section, you get, I think it's like $30 immediately. You don't even have to trade. You just get it. And there's lots of other bonuses as well you can take advantage of. And yeah, take advantage of it. And you can buy lots of meme coins here as well. Just wanted to let you guys know. But back to where Bitcoin's at, I would not be surprised if we see a continuation just chopping around, guys. More boring price action. It's kind of in my mind, if we don't break out in July to the upside, if we don't test $72,000 and move to the upside of this channel on the daily and the weekly on Bitcoin, man, probably more sideways. Boring everybody to no end. Making people capitulate. Maybe we come down a little bit, but I don't think we break below $57,000. And if we do, I don't think we close below it. I think it's going to shake a lot of people out. I think a lot of people already are shaken out. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think. Do you think we're going to trade sideways throughout the rest of the summer? Will August be bullish? Will July be bullish? I'm very curious on what you guys think. But I do want to emphasize with Crowcoin, you know, getting a nice pump. I mean, you, you look at this. That, that's a nice pump, that little tiny green candle. Uh, but it is it is recovering nicely i like to see that i like to see that a lot and i'm still bullish on crowcoin i expect it to make moves to the upside you gotta be patient guys you know I, we've talked about crowcoin a lot about how maybe it's turning into a much more longer play because crypto.com is worried about regulation when it comes to the crypto.com app and crowcoin they don't want to loop them in together even though it would be nice to, for them to actually promote their coin but i think they're worried and there's a reason why crypto.com is the number one exchange that holds the most licenses in the entire world, guys. They're very, very cautious with regulation. Very, very cautious. It's a, it's a good thing when you're talking long-term. Sure, it might be a little bit unfortunate in the short term when you want your coin to pump. Don't get me wrong, I hold a lot of crow coin. Uh, I want it to pump, but um, we have to be patient, guys. We have to be patient. I also want to say, I did say that I would give away $1,000 as well i'm just i'm giving away guys i'm giving i'm giving everything away i'm i love doing giveaways to you guys and giving back to the people that have been watching and supporting the crypto report i'm doing a giveaway i'm giving away a thousand dollars to one of you guys uh if i can get 500 followers on instagram at 333 black c by sunday got a few more days left go follow me there maybe you'll win a thousand dollars as well i got a giveaway on twitter i got a giveaway on instagram i just love giving back to you guys love rewarding 
the Crow Coin, and the Crow Fam holders. But uh, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Check out those awesome links we have down below. $5,000 sign-up bonus to Blowfin. $4,100 sign-up bonus to Femex. That's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.